Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel, Life as Monique. Y'all, stay tuned, do not touch your dial. Watch this video all the way to the end. Wells Fargo is giving away money. And when I say giving away, it's money that you get, you owe, you're owed anyway. They are sending out checks. And I want all of you, if it's just one subscriber to this channel or someone who passes by this channel and listens, if you can get a check, in 2024 um, and you meet some of these criteria from Wells Fargo <laughs> listen to the end so y'all early this month a Houston man received an unexpected communication from his former bank Wells Fargo and a check for slightly more than eight thousand dollars you heard me eight thousand dollars and I know some of y'all might maybe having hard times maybe you know need a, a couple of thousand dollars to put down on something look if you have you know, use Wells Fargo for certain reasons. Um, they are sending out checks, guys. And stay to the end. I'll give you the telephone number and I'll give you the guidelines as to why they are giving back checks. But it showed you here that a man in Houston this month got $8,000. During a review of the account, we identified that you are eligible for a compensation on a prior credit defense product. And the letter received by the Houston Harker chronicle houston chronicle we apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused other consumers on social media such as reddit and tiktok are reporting receiving similar letters as well checks ranging from a few dollars to thousands okay and some people are asking why why did wells fargo just send me a check Wells Fargo, which is headquartered in San Francisco, has in recent years been ordered. Okay, listen to this, guys. They have been ordered, okay? And this ain't Wells Fargo's first, okay, uh, you know, go round, okay? To pay billions of dollars to millions of consumers in various settlements with state attorney generals, the Department of Justice, and the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, the federal agency responsible for consumer protection in the financial sector. Listen to this. The largest of these came in December 2022 when the CFB ordered Wells Fargo to pay back $3.7 billion for widespread mismanagement. Listen to this. Auto loans, mortgages, and deposit accounts. So if you've ever had a law a mortgage, an auto loan, and a deposit account with Wells Fargo, they're giving that money back. My account was closed, and maybe this is the reason why. All of a sudden, at the begin at the end of last year, the beginning of the year, Wells Fargo shut down an account that I had when they were Wachovia. And they could not even tell me why. It wasn't overdrawn, it wasn't anything. I am going back to call the CFB because I have documentation and to see if this was one of the reasons why because I had a mortgage with them bank accounts and I didn't have a car loan and I I don't know if you guys remember that uh, Wells Fargo was taken to the uh, to the court and there was a settlement because there were quote-unquote employees who were opening up accounts in random people's names like checking accounts and credit opening up credit cards to meet their quota and people found out about it and they had to pay money back. So I am going to, because I had Wells Fargo Farby, their a bank account with them for well over 20 years. And all of a sudden last year, they just closed my account. I didn't really use it a lot, but they shut it down. So I'm going to be contacting the CFBB, CF. PB. It says in the CFBB's 11 years of existence, Wells Fargo has consistently been one of the most problematic repeat offenders of the bank and credit unions we supervise, said the director Rohit Chopra at the time. Put simply, Wells Fargo is a corporate recidivist that puts one third of Americans households at risk of harm. Look, I didn't say this. This is from here. And y'all know here, this is this channel, I talk about my life. I talk about a lot of things, but we are always, I'm going to always, if I find something that can benefit you, I'm going to bring that information to you. Okay. They have been known to just do what they want to do. Okay. Um, it says for those, I'm going to give you the telephone number. Okay. And so, so you can call. The CFVB. Let me switch over here to this one. Let me move my head over. So these are the things that okay, it says according to the today's enforcement action, I'm on the CFVB Wells Fargo site. 
They were ordered to pay $3.7 billion for widespread mismanagement of auto loans, mortgages, and deposit accounts. And I'm going to honestly say the mortgage I had with Wells Fargo will for well over 10 years. It was always an issue. It was always a problem. It, it, you know, I tried to back in 2008, I remember to, um, when I had, uh, I had several mortgages with, uh, Wells Fargo to, uh, do a, not a refinance, but, um, to try to change out my loan. Let's see here. It says company repeatedly misapplied loan payments. They did that wrongfully foreclosed on homes and illegally repossessed vehicles, y'all. They, they, I'm telling you, I want y'all to call this number. I don't care who you may not have. You may have lost your house years ago. They were the I could not stand. I was so happy to sell that house. One reason, because dealing with Wells Fargo, it was disgusting. It was horrible. They said they misapplied loans. Now, what if they misapplied your loan payment and you lost your house wrongfully foreclosed on homes and illegally repossessed vehicles, incorrectly assessed fees and interest, charged surprise overdraft fees, along with other illegal activity affecting over 16 million consumer accounts. They, I tell you, I couldn't, I just kept them because I had them for years. I had a grandfathered account. They shut down my account. This is probably, some of you guys' accounts were closed. This is from December, 2022. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau is ordering Wells Fargo to pay $2 billion in redness and redress to consumers and $1.7 billion in civil penalties for legal violations across several of its largest product lines. Wow. So I'm going to give them a call. It says they harmed millions of American families and probably more people of color. Let's see. According to today's enforcement, this is from December 2022. So this is about a year ago. But if the money is still there, I don't know. I don't know if you have to prove certain things. Um, But I'm going to be giving them a phone call. Wells Fargo harmed millions of customers over a period of several years with violations across many of the bank's largest product lines. Okay, so if any of these sound or maybe fit uh, a situation in your life with you, your children, your mom, your dad, I'm going to give you the number. Unlawfully repossessed vehicles and bungled borrowers accounts. Wells Fargo has systematic failures in servicing automobile loans and resulted in 1.3 million in harm across more than 11 million accounts. The bank incorrectly applied borrowers payments improperly charged fees and interest and wrongfully repossessed borrowers vehicles. Now you, some people got repossessions on their account and got their cars taken. The bank failed to ensure that borrowers received a refund for certain fees on add on products. When a loan ended early, they improperly denied mortgage modifications. And this is one of the things I remember back in 2008, I think I, my interest rate was like eight point something. And I wanted to do a modification when I tell you, the hell that I had with Wells Fargo during at least seven year period, the bank improperly denied thousands of loan mortgage modifications, which in some cases led to Wells Fargo customers losing their homes to wrongful foreclosures. The bank was aware of the problem for years before it ultimately addressed the issue. Y'all better call this number. I don't care if you subscribe to my camp channel. I would love for you to subscribe, but I told y'all I'm going to be giving y'all Look, okay, this is my life. So I'm going to be making a phone call too. So I bring you what I think is important. And you know, we share all other type of stuff. Let's go. Illegally um, charge surprise overdraft fees. So wait, y'all were charging overdraft fees to people accounts? For years, it says Wells Fargo unfairly charged surprise overdraft fees. Fees charged even though the consumer had enough money in their account to cover the transaction. This is some kind of... Fugazi, my son said I was using that name. This is some sort of loan shark type of mob type of what? Unlawfully, look, sh- sh- look, this goes back as early as 2015, y'all. Okay, so I'm going, I'm getting in contact with them for three reasons any overdraft fees, any mod- the modification of the loan. Mm hmm. And it says unlawfully, unlawfully froze consumer accounts and mispresented fee waivers. They shut down my account at the end of 
of 2022. Don't know why. Had the account since I don't know when. The bank froze more than 1 million consumers' accounts based on faulty automated filters determination that they may have been a fraudulent deposit, even when it, co- when it could have taken only actions that would have not harmed consumers. Customers affected by these accounts freezes were unable to access any of their money. So they froze their account, act like there was some fraudulent stuff, even though nothing was going on and people couldn't access their money in accounts at the bank for an average of at least two weeks. The bank also made deceptive claims as to the availability of waivers for a monthly service fee. This is disgusting. If any of you have had issues like this, let's give you the number. I'm calling tomorrow and I'll do a follow up video, maybe the end of the week and let y'all know what happened. Mm hmm. I don't know if the money is still there. I have no idea. It says, um, let's see. It says, here's the number. Consumers who are experiencing ongoing problems um, with Wells Fargo or other financial providers can submit complaints by visiting the CFE's website or by calling 1-855-411-237-BEW. Two three seven two. The Bureau also has resources for consumers about mortgage servicing, auto loans, deposits, and accounts. Um. I would have to call them to see um, if they are still offering these funds. Okay, so it says the money is deposited into the CFPV's Victim Relief Fund. Okay, let's see. Let me see. Let's go to that website. Let's see if that money is still there. There's a Victim Relief Fund. Learn more about victim payments from the Civil Penalty Fund. So allocation every six months the funds administrator will allocate funds for payments to particular classes of victims or to consumer education and financial literacy programs okay so let's see let's check the allocation schedule and i will be calling tomorrow um so their next start period um allocate schedule of allocations uh period in october 1st through March 31st. So I'm thinking an allocation will be May 30th. So I think guys, we need to, because we are in January, the period in is March 31st. If we can get documentation and, um, and alloc and, and, and information to them, we may be able to get an allocation if they see fit you in May 30th. Okay. So that's what that's saying. And, um, let's see. Learn more about victim payments from the civil penalty fund. Let's see victim payments. Okay. Civil penalty fund and who it's administered by. There's ongoing cases here. So I am going to close cases. So I am going to, um, it says here, learn about more about how we determine victim eligibility. Let's look here. That's what we need to know because we're going to be calling them. Okay. It said, oh, the Dodd-Frank Act. This is the final rule. And let's see what else they're saying. The summary of the rule. Okay. Let's see. I'm not going to get all into it because I don't know the legal ramifications, but I did tell you uh, if you've had any of those situations, um, I'm just trying to find a number for you to call. Uh, describe the amount of victims' compensational, compens, compensatable harm. Let's see if there's a number here. Okay, so I'm just trying to get this information to be able to give to you guys so that way, you, you know, we can call and see what's going on. But definitely... The Bureau has developed and posted funds. It's limited to determine the amount. What is allocated for expenditures? I don't know. I got a, I, I'm going to make a phone call tomorrow. Okay. Um, I'm going to make a phone call tomorrow. And I'm going to see um, payments to a class of victims. I have to see if this is still going on. Um, but they were sending out checks. And this article, this Wells Fargo, this article was dated... Um, five days ago, okay, that they're uh, the largest uh, the end of December 2022, 2023. So we're just going to go and just see, guys, if they are still, if this is still valid, if, uh, you know, some people may not have known about it. You may have moved. I didn't know about this particular fund. 
I don't see any. This is the document. Okay. And I do not see a number. Let's see if I see consumer. That's the Federal Register. I need, let's see, a number. So allocation schedule, we went over that. Okay. Who will receive the pe the civil penalty fund? When did the civil penalty fund rule effective? What does the rule do? Let's see. Is there any way? How do I, how can I find out if I receive a payment from the, and how, okay, let's see what this says. Please refer to, to find out which distributions are currently in process. Click on a case number. How much has been collected? How much money will victims receive? I guess it depends on what happened. Um, okay. It says how much has been collected? Let's see, what are they doing here? I'm just saying, guys, it's worth a phone call, okay? It's worth a phone call. That's all I'm saying. It's worth a phone call, explanation of different types of... So I'm, like I said, I don't know, but I if I come up with another number, I think I gave you guys a number, okay? Um, I think I gave you guys a number. Let's see, let's go back, and we're going to call that number and see if you know, if this is still going on, um, because these things, you know, these, this affects a lot of people and a lot of people don't know anything about that. It says they're also look, Wells Fargo is a repeat offender that has been the subject of multiple enforcement actions by CFPB and other regulators for violations across its lines of business, including faulty student loan servicing. If you had a student loan mortgage kickbacks, See, fake accounts and harmful auto loans. Guys, look, this was dated December 2022. Um, and I think it's worth a phone call to the CFPB. And I think it's worth a phone call. Um, their number is 1-855-411-2372. Okay. one eight. Five, five, and I'll leave it in the description box. But guys, they are sending people checks. Because some people, what if you had a credit card or auto loan? Like a lot of people use one bank and they get multiple loan products all at one time. What if you had a mortgage or auto loan, a bank account, and all of them were jacked up? But, you know, you had no recourse. And now you're no longer with um, Wells Fargo, but you were harmed. Payment, what if you had your car repossessed Un unfairly? What if you had all of the above? I'm just saying, okay? I know this is a long video, but I think it's worthwhile to call, okay? I think it's worthwhile to call to see. Um, and if you can get paperwork in, because they have a they have that money sitting there and they just allocate it within a certain amount of time. I guess they p people call in or provide documentation and they're able to allocate it. It says the CFVP, list another number it says if you are a current or former okay here's the number if you are a current or former customer you can contact the number given above to ask about your individual situation the cfb cfpb lists another number 1844-484-5089 which leads to the wells fargo specialized customer service and resolution line mm -hmm. so I'm going to make some phone calls, guys. Be prepared. Have your phone charged up. I don't like calling customer service, but I can tell you between my bank account, my mortgages that I had with Wells Fargo, I had two. Okay. Two mortgages with him. And it was not nice. I'm telling you, when I tried to modify, they denied me. I was faxing and documenting, and it was just horrible. So that's what I'm going to do. It says... Um, and that's, uh, those are the numbers. I'm going to leave the two numbers in the description box. Guys, call family members, let them know. You might have to do a little homework, go back through your emails, get documents, but it's going to be worth it. If you just get a check that you so rightfully deserve. They, I mean, Wells Fargo, y'all sound like y'all were just doing the most. Y'all then wasn't following the rules and regulations or policies or nothing. Y'all, y'all was acting like y'all was the mob. This is crazy. And they, 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 the person here at the CFPB said they, they were just repeat offenders, you know, like Bebe's kids. 
They just did whatever they wanted to do. Let me read what it said here. It says, well, okay. I'm going to read what he said. Wells Fargo's rinse repeat cycle of violating the law has harmed millions of American families. My God. <laughs> this is what they said. They, they were just repeat offenders. And I mean, who was holding them accountable? But I'm going to call because they, they closed my account and I don't like that. So I'm going to call that number. I'll let y'all know what happens. I list the two numbers in my, just be prepared. You're going to have to do some work. Okay. You might be online for a little while, but this is Monique. Life as Monique. Please like, share, subscribe. I'm going to bring you behind the scenes of what's going on in my life. This is going on in my life. Cause I'm going to be making a phone call with y'all too. Okay. Um, articles, uh, information that I think is really relative and important, important, just like this particular article. Health, love, finances, fashion, you know, beauty over, you know, skincare over 40 for women over 40 talking about topics, you know, a plethora of topics. And we have some of the best. I have some of the best subscribers. OK, we have wonderful live sessions. We help each other. We educate each other. It's fun. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, you know, I don't know what you're waiting for. So, guys, give this number. Just get your cell phones, charge them up. Be ready. Be ready tomorrow because May, March 31st is the end, I guess, of a, a period. And then they distribute money in, in May. So let's be a part of that distribute because I'm telling you, they did me dirty. Wells Fargo. I was with them when they were Wachovia and Wells Fargo bought out Wachovia. I had a grandfathered account. And they closed my account up. But I'm about to call them tomorrow because I'm like, what? They just closed it. There was no negative fees. There was nothing. They closed my account. And I feel that it was probably because it was an account that probably would should be a part of all of this other stuff here. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. I will see you guys on the next upload. Like, share, subscribe, hit that little bell. And I will see you next time on Life as Monique. All right, y'all. Peace. And I'm out.